how's everybody doing i hope everybody is doing well and why nobody told me why nobody told me there was a rap battle with dmx nobody said nothing to me and i didn't hear nobody talk about it and i'm here to discuss the rap battle between dmx and snoop Dogg. Um, when I saw it, it made my heart feel of joy. I was glad to see DMX in a rap battle because he's been out of the game for a very long time. And I am a supporter of his rap and his work. And I also have bought albums. Way back in the day, I bought albums from him. And I like Snoop Dogg too. And... I thought both men did an amazing job, so we are going to get into this because I agree with the audience out there. Somebody said in the comment box that if there is no comparison, it's like comparing apples and oranges, and I do agree with that statement. Why? Because DMX represents apples to me. It's like his music is cold, um, dark pain that makes you reminisce about New York City streets, about people wearing the Timberland boots, the North Face bubble coat jacket, and and you like not having heat in your apartment and you being cold to heat yourself up and like you wearing army fatigue outside that that it remind me of the cold heart street of new york where it's like cold and snoop dogg who i also am a supporter of his music is like california oranges and it's like you wearing your you're in your car with the top down wearing a white white beater with um um with flip flops and socks on <laughs> it's like two different things neat um even though snoop dogg music is is gangster rap but it's more like a happy gangster rap which is totally two different things and it reminds you of being in a a car with your top down with a white beater and shorts with flip-flops and socks and it's shiny outside <laughs> it's more like a um happy um rap i was actually late <laughs> into the battle rap so I'm really not sure what they really played, but when they played the Rough Riders anthem, I was so excited because in the East Coast, that was a thing. That was a real, real thing. And that was played so much. I actually got tired of the anthem. The people played that so much. Um, I don't know about the West Coast. So in the West Coast, did they really play on um, DMX? Rough Riders Anthem, Stop, Drop, and Roll, because that was a thing on the East Coast. And I like how their energy, they bounce off each other, how DMX bounce on to Snoop Dogg song. Snoop Dogg <laughs> jump on to um, DMX song. And I like how they both encourage each other during the um the battle rap. The song I like is Ready to Meet Him. I love that song. But I don't know if they played it because I can't remember the song they played. <laughs> I can't remember the song they played. And the, the Snoop Dogg that I like, the song that I like that um Snoop Dogg played is um the Pharrell song. You're so beautiful. I love that song. That is like a good song. He has other good songs too. But that's one of my favorites that I like about Snoop Dogg. And let me tell you a personal story. 
in my um, prom photo. This actually Snoop Dogg advertisement in my photo. And I'm going to show you. Let me go get it. I don't know if you can see he's in my prom video. <laughs> can you see? <laughs> this is my prom. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. That's Snoop Dogg right there. And I actually attended a Snoop Dogg concert at the Essence Festival in New Orleans. Which I thought he did an amazing job. This is when his gospel album came out. He actually did the gospel album in his old songs. And this was this was the same um, night of um, Erica Badu where they had Jill Scott, um, Anthony Hamilton, Miguel, and I enjoyed that concert very much. And I want to know who went to the Essence Festival that, that year when Snoop Dogg performed. I really thought he did an amazing job. So let's get back to the rap battle. I'm all over the place with this. So the rap battle, I think um, DMX did an amazing job um, remembering his rap. I think his energy was okay. And I thought he rapped good until he did the freestyle rap. I was like, oh, NG, why did he freestyle? I said he should have just sat down and rapped some of his songs that he knew. Because clearly, um, DMX has been out of the game a long time. And um, he's a little bit rusty. But but the, at the end, the third rap he did, he did a lot better than the other two. Because <laughs> I didn't understand what he was talking about. And I didn't understand what the hell he was saying. So I was like, OMG, I cannot. And Snoop Dogg, I'm glad he didn't make him feel bad about it. And he kept the energy up with his freestyle. And I think Snoop Dogg did an amazing job freestyling at the end. And holding down the um the rap battle, but it's like two good friends from the different coasts, East Coast, West Coast. And I loved it. And I agree with the people that was in the comment that said it should be a uh East Coast, West Coast tour. I'm definitely down for that. I would not be attending it because the last rap concert I went to, I didn't like it at the Barclays Center. It was terrible. I mean, it wasn't the rapper who was terrible, but the um, facility I went to, I didn't like it. It turned me off, and I said I would never go to another concert ever again. But I definitely love Louisiana concerts. Those be off the hook. I was trying to get a Mary J ticket, and I couldn't get a Mary J ticket. Um, if you like this, please press the like button and you hate it or think it's terrible comment down below and let me know when is the next rap battle so i can cover it thank you <laughs> and i always put god first above anything else hallelujah